I'm a former New York State Supreme Court Justice. Let me tell you about a real case story. We'll call it Dorothy. Dorothy is a passenger on a motorcycle being operated by her fiance. They're driving along one of the city streets of New York City when suddenly a motor vehicle comes along and violently crashes into this motorcycle. As a consequence, Dorothy is vaulted out and thrown out. She flies through the air about 15 feet, crashing heavily down onto the pavement. Of course, she was wearing a helmet. The motor vehicle itself had an insurance policy that was a rather limited policy. The insurance company immediately offered its policy and it was accepted. But it wasn't enough for the significant head injury that Dorothy suffered. So an action was brought against the manufacturer, a products liability action, claiming that the helmet itself should have resisted the impact regardless of what the crash site was. The helmet should have protected Dorothy's head. We were able to get the helmet and have that helmet actually inspected by one of the foremost civil engineers in the country. He took it to his laboratory, put it through all kinds of stress tests to determine what G-forces or energy forces would actually impact a helmet going through the helmet shell, going through the lining, inner lining, to see whether or not the energy forces, the G-forces of such an impact would actually go through the brain of one wearing it. He found a very slight difference, a very slight nuance within that helmet itself. And with that, we were able to go to trial. We went to trial before a jury. He was called as an expert and following his testimony and following all of the testimony, ultimately, the jury took the case. The jury came back with a verdict. Of course, Dorothy sustained a very significant injury, and all along we stressed that the helmet that Dorothy was wearing did not provide the necessary safety in the event of an impact that she had that actually happened in that particular case. The jury returned a verdict on behalf of Dorothy for a very substantial amount. Well, that's the story. In fact, it was the only verdict against this manufacturer that was in favor of a plaintiff. That's it. This is the storyteller telling you, stay safe and keep out of danger.